Hi. So, uh, in the last video, uh, I tried to give an argument as to uh, why I think that uh, ultimately we have to fall towards hedonism. In that video, I gave two examples to prove my point. But there is another thing to be said here. In this video, we will look at a very specific case in order to get a more get more insight into all of this affair and to get more understanding. One of the key features of the West that has been for quite some time is an argument that is often used against um, countries which are far more regressive, and that is an argument of desexualization. There is often a claim uh, that is attached to uh, a very specific conception of West that argues for equality between men and women. That's related to desexualization of women's bodies. Indeed, one can imagine uh, that in regressive cultures, often uh, a restriction on women's clothing is based on the idea from the perception of the West that women's bodies are inherently sexual. This argument is cut down by arguing that women's bodies are no different than males and any sexual uh, instinct that is generated on seeing the body of a woman is no different than any instinct that is generated on seeing the body of a man. And such an instinct is not present in the object but in the subject in himself and is at the complete discretion of the subject. This argument seems to be bizarre uh, and seems to be contradic contradicting basic biology for any sexual desire that creeps up. is not a result of a will, but is a result of the way biology works and is a result of the hormones that kick in uh, and nature trying to convince a person to reproduce and pass on his genes to the next generation. Yet, such an argument has been made from the rational standpoint. The desexualization argument seems pretty strong and it argues for the equality between men and women. And it often tries to show mirror to the more regressive cultures, showing them that their belief uh, in the modesty of women is actually stemming from their belief from their wrong belief uh, that inherently sexualizes women. As a consequence of that, you would believe that in the West, if such an argument is actually practiced and not just said, there would be a sort of equality in the way men and women present themselves. Of course, that is not true. And we often see uh, how women are still a lot more sexualized, even so uh, voluntarily in the media and one example of that that we will look today uh, specifically relates to uh, the coronavirus pandemic it is very easy to have a very nominal view of biology and know that women would often use her body to gain attention and thanks to uh, the pandemic which has created a lockdown when now women are, now do have to turn to different forms of social media, more so in order to uh, gain attention and satisfy their need for desirability. Because coronavirus pandemic is actually a affair, an affair which is being portrayed as something bad for humanity, prevalence of lust, even in this sort of pandemic, shows a very grim picture a picture that cannot be easily uh, forgotten or explained away. To look at it, uh, such a scenario, we will look at few news reports uh, and try to establish what is the case here. So let's move on to that. So these are uh, few of the news articles that I came across while browsing uh, uh, news, international news. 
this is very interesting article so these articles discuss a trend that has emerged in which celebrities primarily women celebrities are uh, sharing sexy selfies in order to combat the gloom related to coronavirus this trend is pretty interesting because uh, the articles use a gender neutral term but you can see that the pictures are almost are actually are all of just the women and viewing this picture would perhaps tell you something about the differences between the two genders and not only the differences between the two genders but the fact that all the people know about these differences but these celebrities have millions of followers not only that it is very interesting to see that uh, along with this all of this sexualization the desexualization arguments that are often made seem to be a scam but let's look at uh, and read some of these articles so let's begin so this article talks about two celebrities who are sharing sexy bedroom selfies as they are isolated during coronavirus lockdown and you can see uh, some of these images uh can one really uh, pretend that all of these are not uh, deliberately sexual but if indeed they are sexual then from where this argument of desexualization comes it's bizarre uh as we move on uh, we see a lot of articles like this and these are all from this side so these are all the different celebrities you can see all of them here sharing topless photos um crop tops uh partial breasts yeah uh, <laughs> a very funny lawshri uh, uh women joking that her new bikini could only be worn in her house for the foreseeable future and all of the stuff like that. yeah yeah <laughs> uh said her winner uh and on and on uh, it's not just that right uh, you can see it here here uh there's a caption uh, attached to this image right and the caption read when the only thing on the agenda is going back and forth to the fridge but do you really think that uh, this is something that she has uh, posted the pic of just to present her back and forth journey to the fridge or there is something else that associated with and this yeah nice right uh let me send her fans while uh, while once again as you post your stunning topless photo dangling over an indoor pool on a giant swing making her location as isolation amid the coronavirus crisis the birmingham babe dangled her legs in the pool while sporting a tiny blue string bikini bottom pleasure over matter the influencer wrote alongside it the model who is known for her impressive curves has joined a list of celebrities to get involved in the sexy self isolation trend where celebs have been posting sexy selfies of them in self isolation but this is not just uh, about uh, sexually provocative images but it's also about uh, using masks to make bikinis uh, pretty sexual bikinis the posing outfits known as quarantines are sweeping social media as a global coronavirus death toll top 50000 you can look at one or here and here and here and here i had to suggest talking about masks and you can see that on the side bar too you can see this up here love island starts strip off to cure boredom and was stuck inside during lockdown let's see if there's how many males are there doing that uh a female a female a female a female a female uh two females a female 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 
a female, a female, a female, a female. I, I can't even just say, I'm pretty sure the next one would also be, yeah, a female, a female, a female, a female. Uh, uh, this is about Love Island, right? And you can see that these are very different images, right? Uh, trying to show different parts of the body. Uh, and on and on. Now, just think of it for two moments. I'm not asking if you're a pee person in the West. I'm not asking you to change your preferences. It's clear that people in the West are like and flocking towards this. I'm not also not asking you to change your morality. But just think about it. Is it not true then? That all of that uh, desexualization arguments are just a scam? It seems to be that the Islamic argument that talks about how bodies of the women are not only treated by other people as different in the bodies of men, but by women themselves seems to bear a lot of weight. And these gender differences that are very much related to lust and vanity. These actually exist. So what all about calling other cultures harming, calling um, your own people as having following an impeccable standard of morality? It's clear that the, all of that desexualization was so that women could post their pictures. They were pretty sexual. And thus, all of this could be defended by comparing it to an immunity that men exhibit. But people in the West do not view the nudity of men and women in the same way. None of these women do that. And all the people of the West. These are the images of uh, butts. These are the images of wearing bikinis. Uh, crop tops. They go on and on. Lin uh, lingeries that are pretty <laughs> interesting. And all of these images show a lot of vanity. Yeah. Just covering the whole. And nothing else. All of this is something that people in the West know about. Then where is the problem? From where is this attitude coming? Uh, wherein the argument is often made portraying all of these things uh, showing no gender difference and why would someone argue that well the only answer that seems to be the case is to preserve all of this and to prevent all of this from criticism it's not that only the men view women's bodies as different but women do as well otherwise there would be no reason to post an image like this specifically highlighting women's butt Indeed, all of this is interesting and show an aversion to truth in order to maintain a sense of morality and pleasure. All of this is pretty interesting and bizarre, yet very true. And all of this thus tells us about the nature of the West. And you cannot fight it. If I stand here and ask people, not to like these images or to ask women not to post them. I would get no traction. People would also use some sort of a moral argument to critique me, calling a lot of names to any person who would criticize. But what they wouldn't do is they wouldn't try to pursue their own argument in the ways that would involve a sort of sacrifice. All of this is bizarre, but you cannot find simultaneous orgasms of morality and pleasure. Nobody can. But all of this is what would at least lead you to perhaps understand some of the arguments that others make and to realize that your own moral incapabilities 
and lusts are not actual justification and do not change lies into truth. Anyways, it was an interesting journey. Uh, let's go back. I would perhaps post few other videos uh, relating to topics uh, which are in close vicinity to this one. But I think my job here is done. And nothing more is needed. So yeah. That's cool, I guess. Um, we'll meet you ne next time. Uh, and we'll talk about some another topic. Until then. Yeah. Uh, Good luck.